Hello all, in this video we shall see how to test the Bluetooth modules. The types available in the market are HC04, HC05 and HC06. The HC04 and 6 are slave only modules. They need a master like PC or Android phone to pair with. Two slaves cannot be paired by themselves. This HC04 and 6 have 4 pins and is mounted on a breakout board. The HC05 is a master slave module with 6 pins and the module is available as a JYMCU module. They have key and state pins extra and you can provide 5 volt supply directly as the board has got 3.3 volt onboard regulator. Generally this uh, Bluetooth devices are 3.3 volt devices. To interface with PC you need a USB to TTL device like this. This USB to TTL device is built on Prolific 2303 IC and Prolific drivers should be installed on your PC. It has got 5 volt as well as 3.3 volt pins. Some jumper wires are used for uh, connection purpose. First connect the power pins. This USB device doesn't need any external power source. Just you need to plug into the USB socket of the PC. Connect the 5 volt pin to 5 volt of Bluetooth and ground pin to ground of Bluetooth. Female to female jumper wires are handy for this purpose. The TX of USB device goes to RX of Bluetooth device and uh, RX of USB device goes to TX of Bluetooth device. Only 4 wires needed for the connection. plus 5 and ground RX and TX. The USB device is now plugged to the PC. For demo purpose I am using a uh, USB extension cable to connect to PC. The power LED on USB device glows steadily and on the Bluetooth device the status LED starts blinking fast. This indicates that the Bluetooth is looking for a pair. Now on your PC open the device manager and note down the port allotted to the USB device. Under COM ports you can see here it is uh, COM10 allotted. We shall use a, a terminal software like PuTTY on the PC. Open the PuTTY software and select serial. Enter the port number as COM10 and then baud rate as 9600 under terminal category you tick the local echo force on to see what you type and then open the terminal this is on your PC side now from your Android phone open the settings and then switch on the Bluetooth search for the available Bluetooth devices. You can see the Bluetooth module name HC05. If it is HC04 module, you see the name Linvar. Touch on the HC05 and type in the password 1234 to get paired with the Bluetooth module. Touch on OK. Now the LED on the Bluetooth module starts blinking slowly indicating that it has got a pair. <laughs> now we shall install a terminal software on the Android phone. On store, search for Bluetooth terminal. On the Play Store, uh, search for uh, Bluetooth terminal. Select the one with uh, Bluetooth symbol and install it. 
This is just like the PuTTY software for PC. Open the terminal software installed and touch on the list of devices. This list of devices appears only when it is pad. Select HC05 and then touch connect. Now your phone and Bluetooth module are pad. Now type in some message on the phone and touch send. The message appears on the putty terminal of uh, PC. Same way you can type in some message within the putty terminal to see it on the uh, Android phone's BT terminal. Thus a yeah, two-way communication is established via Bluetooth. So two terminal softwares are required, one on PC that is PuTTY and another on uh, Android phone that is BT terminal. With this terminal softwares we just uh, uh, established the communication between the two devices. You can also test the module without using uh, the PC. This is called loopback test. Just you need to provide the 5 volt supply and ground to the Bluetooth module and then loop back the TX and RX connectors. One single wire jumper wire is used to loop the TX and RX pins. Now from the Android phone, open the terminal software and connect to the HC05. Now type in some message from your phone. Now the message uh, gets transmitted to the Bluetooth terminal, gets looped back and come back to the uh, phone you can see the uh, message what your type comes back this is the loopback test thank you for watching